welcome. Welcome to Virtual Tarot. I'm Ava. And I am Trudy, and we are broadcasting from El Armana, 1350 BC. And why are we here, you might ask? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's our wild ride into ancient Egypt to uh, discover the root of monotheism. And the feminine divine, because the feminine we're gonna, who is back here? Uh, Akhenaten and uh, his beautiful queen Nefertiti, and this is their death, their their garden, desert city. Yes, just like Las Vegas um, in our era. Um, this was where monotheism began. The autumn. The autumn. The sun god. Yes. And it wasn't literally a sun god, as will be explained in a uh, little mini documentary that we have at the end of this reading. So stay tuned and find out about Aten. Right. Akhenaten. Yeah. And his beautiful, you know, they, they, they had the most glamorous, the most um, extraordinary story. <laughs> there was even a, did you know there was even a priest involved, very much like Rasputin? Yes, with yes. A, with a, a, the Tsar Nicholas yes. and uh, yeah. Alexandra? Yeah. Yeah, there was a, a what was his name, Mary? Um, Mary, um, goodness, uh, I can't remember. Well, Mary something. Yeah. And, uh, but he was very, he was the high priest and he, he was notorious. Yes. I think he brought down the entire kingdom. Yeah. Just like a Rasputin did. So there are rumors going around oh, about that. Oh gosh, there was, yeah. it was an extraordinary time. Right. And so, your reading's going to be so bright, we got to wear shades. <laughs> wear shades. But I'm going to take mine off. Right. Just because have... we're back here. Yes. In uh, El Armano, which is very much like Vegas, baby. Um, we're going to be reading for you four card spread. Cards. As we do every month. Ta -ta. If you haven't joined us before, Ta -ta. the first card represents for you. Oh, by the way, you're a pentacle. You're a pentacle. Pentacle. Yes. Um, the Sensual. overall <laughs> environment of the month. We're talking like, ooh, we got two conversations going on at the same time. We always do that. I know you hate us for that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, first card, overall environment of the month. Second card is the position of challenges or obstacles or things that you might face. Third card, the unexpected. That's it. The fourth is the wrap up. And at the very end, we're going to give you a little, you know, girl talk, which is what we always do. And this is a great place to do it. And girls always talk over each other. Yes. And don't so. get mad about it. What happens in our mana stays, stays in our, in mana. our mana. So here we go. Here we go. Oh, last month. Oh, yes. Now we have a recap. Last yes. month. Oh, last month was gorgeous for you. Actually, gorgeous month. Yes, it was. They had the sun. They had oh, they had everyone. You had autumn. You had autumn. Coloring the entire month, so it just makes total sense that you're here with us today. Yes. <laughs> yes. You better get some shades. And then you had the lovers. Yes. The major kind of upright lovers part of the position of challenges. Yes. So maybe your lover was a challenge, or maybe you had to make a choice where you, which passion you wanted to pursue. Always about choice. It was just, um, you know, or but that whether was... you wanted to, uh, you wanted to go out into the world or stay within the confines of your private world. Mm -hmm. Also, that's what that card is about. But you had the support and love of your family, mm -hmm. and you ten of pentacles at the very end. Yes, yeah, pentacle support. Yeah, good landing pad. Good landing pad. Yep. Yes. So you've so. you landed here in El Armana for the June reading. Let's. Except for Virgo. Virgo oh, always. Yes. <laughs> oh, we always guess wrong. So. Uh, interesting. Okay. Oh, Excellent. Yeah, Excellent. it's a fiery queen. She's this is the entrepreneurial queen. queen. So you're going to have like a really. It's the Charlie Girl Queen. It's the Charlie Girl Queen, and you're going to be very independent this month. Finding a way to make a living you're, with yes. your wit and your talent. Yeah and your extraordinary charm. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is about managing both your home and your career at beautifully, regally, really. Um, and about knowing 
who you are as a, a, a true individual. Last month we had the family supporting you. Yes. So this month you go out on your own. Mm -hmm. And you kind of like independently establish what you want, right. uh, career-wise and otherwise. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, it is definitely the queen who isn't afraid to go out and take care of herself. That's right. In one way or the other. I mean, she is all about making it happen. <laughs> She's the making it happen queen. Right. Right. <laughs> but she's also... It's good for June. It's good for June, yeah. but it, it's... Uh, uh, finally, you've come to a point where you know yourself, in a way, because this is one of the, the queens who are really confident. Who And confidence, the word confidence means to, to confide, yes. to be able to confide with who's inside. So... To, to confide in yourself. Mm -hmm. And it colors the month, so I wonder if it has something to do with, it. as we read on, you know, if this is confidence, it is a, it's, the whole month is about increased it's a, confidence. It's about increased confidence. Mm -hmm. And this is what you've been needing because you've been worried, and now you had the support last month of your family to give you maybe a sense of rootedness, mm -hmm. and now you can go out and express total self confidence. There you go. Let's do two. Position of challenges. All right. Because these cards do not live by themselves. No, they have. They have, <laughs> they have little friends right next to them. Yeah. The queen, the Birkenstock queen, <laughs> the grounded queen, the earth mother queen, the, the practical queen. queen. Look at this <laughs> a little more closely. She's the queen of this. She's the queen of pentacles. She is the uh, she's the woman who counts her pennies. Yes. So that is your challenge uh, yes. for the month, the entire month. You're going to be thinking about balancing your budget, or you should. Yeah. The cards counsel you to pay attention to more practical matters um, while you are um, seeking out your independence. And it may just be for the month of June, but you kind of have to balance the budget. Right. But also, too, she's the mother. Mm -hmm. So being a good mother, um, taking care of your the garden that you've raised, whether that's your children or your literal garden or your home or your... To make sure that everything um, is uh, nourished... So because you see the Queen of Wands wants to be independent. And go out and party. And go out and party. <laughs> She's the party queen, sorry. If you turned her around, she'd be like really partying. Oh yeah. She's the, the only queen in the deck with her legs spread. She loves that. It's true. Yes. She's the one who's like sexually or yes. sensually yes. like yes. woohoo. So, she loves to party. She does love to party. And but. so and that's great because you know it takes a certain amount of confidence to put yourself out there oh, and yes. to engage with others yes. and to grow whatever it is that's within, right. you know. So this card says stay grounded. Yes. <laughs> it does. While you're out there expressing yourself, expressing your confidence, being uh, uh, being able to um, be who you are in public. Yeah. Uh, still at home, you need to be the mother. Yeah. Whether that's whether you have a real family or whether it's just um, taking care of yourself, as as you would nurture yourself, mm -hmm. and to take care of the practical aspects of your home, your family, your loved ones. All that is the challenge while you party. <laughs> while you party. You have to wear shades. You just got the King of Pentacles. Wow. Oh. Well, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> you got a lot of people in your there life this month, There are a lot of people Virgo. in your life this, this month. Uh, or, oh or you're a lot of people this month. You're not messing around, I gotta no. say. Wow, look at this. So unexpectedly, the King of Pentacles shows up. Yeah, well, we have this position. Right, so which your is challenge challenges. is to be his mate. That could be it. It, it definitely could. That uh, is one possibility. That is one possibility. Or you've met, well, you've met someone who challenges you to, and it could be family member, it could be the need to get from someone. Maybe you're yeah. given from a man practical help since we have 
or he unexpectedly shows up. Yeah, and he's a, he's somebody who can support you. Right. So he, he he's monetarily. You are, you are literally the queen of pentacles, of course. So this is yes. the king of pentacles. This would be your other half. Yeah. Your your mate, whether whoever that might yeah. be, uh, male, female, whatever it is. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The, the mate, the other half, shows up. Right. And why is it a part of this whole scenario? Is because they then become. Uh, important in the equation mm -hmm. of what 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 occurs during the month. Yeah, it feels like there's some redundancy in the reading too, because spirits saying, "Okay, your challenge is the Queen of Pentacles, which means you need to stay grounded this month." And oh, and by the way, we're going to bring up the King of Pentacles in the position of, a, of the unexpected, which is like, oh, unexpectedly. You still need to stay grounded, but, you know, from a more masculine perspective. It could be. For, yes. For those who don't have a significant other that shows up, it would be the uh, whole idea, the, the sort of abstract of the card, mm -hmm. which is that you manage your domain in a very um, more stern, matter-of-fact, less less heartful, mm -hmm. more of, of a... Uh, that's sort from the heart, more from the head. More from the head, and yeah. also somebody who, who just simply is rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. Rules and regulations, that's right. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly, you have to perhaps impose rules and regulations. Yeah. Because a, a, a house needs them. People need rules and regulations in order to function well. Otherwise... Boundaries. They yeah. need, yes, they about set boundaries. This is you all month long. Oh yeah. <laughs> Stay grounded, Virgo. Stay grounded. <laughs> but you might, you might, if on the other hand, yes. find assistance also. Yeah. yeah. From, uh, from your other half. It certainly looks like, or a man, or a who man. shows up unexpectedly on your doorstep, who's like, yes. you need to be grounded, and so I'm gonna help you stay grounded. All right. All right. So listen okay. to this guy. You'll be glad you did at the end of the month. All right, let's see what happens. I'm what just happens? dying to find out. Okay. Oh. Well, how is this possible? Okay, you got two men once again in your life. All right. The King yeah. of Wands comes up. All right, okay, Virgo. We've had this before for Virgo, where you've got two men you in your life. So you've got two men. And here is one possibility, okay? And I'm feeling this Look pretty this. strongly. Look at this. You have to comport yourself as a fiery, independent party girl with this guy. <laughs> and then with this guy... You've got to be Mother you're Earth. You're grounded Mother Earth. You, so it's almost like you have to... If you've got two relationships happening... Right. You have two personas happening. That's right. If you have one relationship happening... Within that relationship, you both have two personas happening. And that could very well be two. And they're all in the upright. And they're all, but it's all positive. Yeah, it's all positive because you're able to um, put out this, these two very, very disparate type. There's nothing more disparate than no, air and earth. Uh, uh, nothing, nothing. Because one lives by passion, the other one lives by reason. Yes. <laughs> so, so, I mean... You really are, are sort of uh, tossed back and forth here. Right. Internally, you've got to be one person with one per that person. With that, that person, person, yeah. And a totally different kind of person there. But you have to weave them together inside so that you're balanced. Yeah. But you manage to do right, it. Right, right. You what manage to do it. Wow, what an exciting month for them. But the whole month is colored with this Queen of Wands. So this Queen of Wands overrides yeah, this Queen overrides. of Pentacles. It's, that's underneath. Yeah, so the Queen of Wands, yeah. the, the, you know, the sort of the playgirl, the, the fun child. Yeah. Like, she needs to get out and really enjoy herself this month. Yes. Because at the end of the month, you've sort of found your perfect mate or your right. perfect um, mirror. Mm -hmm. in that expression of joy and passion so maybe that's what it is is you're trying to get away from the dull mundane mm -hmm. and which, which you often get caught in yeah. the rut the rut of life get away from the dull and the mundane <laughs>
<laughs> Come to El Mara. <laughs> right? Because here, well, we're only going to be here for, you know, this place only existed for 17 years. Right. And we happened to be here in the 12th year where it was uh, the pinnacle. Right. Of its uh, uh, glory days. Right. And so, you know, if you want to enjoy yourself, June is definitely the month to June do it. June is your month. Go out there. And also, career-wise, uh, uh, you seem to be able to truly find the confidence to do what you really love. Yes. And yes. that's and exciting. Yeah. And then at the end, you've got a mail. Or yeah. And these are, like, very... Um, Passionate, passionate, fiery, like Ooh. whoever this king is, you're exemplifying these qualities. It's like, woo. Oh, yeah. It's a woo month for you. Yeah, get out there. And, yeah. <laughs> Go get some uh, really cute, like, party dresses this month. Oh, yes. Yeah, I mean, there's a Go lot. Go our prop closet. Yeah. There's a lot of them there. There's, there's a lot on the market. We'll be, yeah, you can buy the clothes off our back. Yes. Um, anyway, so thanks for showing up. Boy, you really need a reading. Whoa! Yeah. Who are these two guys? And know. why are you guys, like... They've always got two lovers. Oh, my gosh. And they are such conservative people. Oh, bet. But they are so sensual. Secretly, they are sensual. <laughs> so, so, go to our website. VirtualTarot.wordpress.com Maybe a love reading or a life path reading, perhaps. Or an emergency reading in case, when you've got to know. Right, because what happens in El Armana stays in El Armana. Right, so we'll it's be reading secret. from El Armana all month this month. That's right. <laughs> it's so easy to get a reading all that you have to do. It's a sunny place. Is go to our website. Click on the PayPal donation link, send us your question to avatrudy at yahoo.com, and we will respond immediately, um, and the result will be an MP3 file that you can listen to. Um, Anytime. You yeah. keep it like a keepsake. Yeah, and it, it, they seem to like have quite the shelf life. They do. People go back and they re-listen, and um, yeah. And b believe me... We treat them as art. Yes. And we very much want them to fit you. Yes. So we, um, it's also a way we have of getting to know you. Yes. And for us to connect you with um, higher, your higher self, your higher mind. So stay tuned. Ava will be narrating a piece all about the bad boy Prince Akhenaten and his gorgeous, gorgeous queen, Nefertiti. Yes. Um, My favorite. Pharaoh. <laughs> yes, she loves him. I love him. Yes. And, uh, and we'd also like for you to please post a link to your Virgo Pinterest page because we're really interested in finding out who you are. We'd like to share some of the pages with our viewers because it's really fun to compare yourself as a Virgo girl to other Virgo girls. See how they live, what they do, kind of like, it's just fun yeah. stuff. So um, we're going to post a link to our Pinterest page as well. Please like it. We'll like yours. Thanks a lot. We'll be back in July. Yes, right in the middle of summer. And yeah, I don't know where it. we're going to be. But we're not we're, sure. I think we're not sure. But uh, uh, we're going to enjoy ourselves in, in uh, El Armana. And uh, I hope that you come and visit us here next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This month we explore the extraordinary story of the reign of the pharaoh Akhenaten and Nefertiti who ruled Egypt for about 17 years between roughly 1353 BC and 1335 BC. Akhenaten was known as an iconoclastic genius, a poet, and a philosopher. While even just a boy, he fought against the selfish and the strong, whom he identified particularly with the priests of one of their pantheon of gods named Ammon. 
This was a polytheistic society in ancient Egypt. And the priests of Ammon were prone to tyranny. And so Akhenaten resolved to destroy the priests and their gods and to supplant them with his god, with a single god named Aten, the sun god. The high priests had been accustomed to occupying high and influential positions at the court of Akhenaten's father, Amenhotep III. One of the priests had been a chief treasurer, another a grand vizier. But the single-minded and rebellious Akhenaten, when he ascended to the throne, began to embrace and develop the theological beliefs of the obscure Aten solar cult. And he set forth to convince an unheeding world of Aten's sovereignty over all of creation. Thus making Akhenaten the first monotheistic ruler of the ancient world. Akhenaten had the noble desire to make all men wise, just, free, and mild. But Akhenaten was also a feminist, believing in the equality of women, as was proved when he married his wife, Nefertiti. She was a queen consort and became co-regent and equal to the pharaoh. She was committed to Akhenaten's vision and is often portrayed worshipping beside him. The royal couple delighted to appear among the people, accompanied by their children. Nefertiti in some works of art, is shown standing equal next to her husband, symbolically showing that she was equal to her husband. As time went on, treason was attempted by the priestly party, which roused the ire of the strong-minded young king, for he suddenly began a war of bitter persecution against the god Ammon. Everywhere the god's name was chipped from the monuments, the tombs were entered, and the young pharaoh did not spare even the name of his father. It was at this time that he became officially known as Akhenaten, the spirit of Aten. Akhenaten decided to leave Thebes then, and at El Amana, about 250 miles north, he caused to be laid out a garden city in which were built a gorgeous palace which surpassed that of his father and a great temple dedicated to the one and only god, Aten. Akhenaten was a proud and profoundly serious man with a great mission, a high-souled prophet. Akhenaten believed it sinful to take away the life which Aten gave. No sacrifices were offered up at his temple. The fruits of the earth were laid on the altars instead. Aten was revealed in beauty, and his worshippers were required to live beautiful lives, believing that the cultured mind abhorred all evil. And 
sought after only that which was most excellent. Akhenaten promoted the idea of the universal brotherhood of man and conceived that the world was beautiful and was pervaded by universal peace. And though Aten, the god, was a sun god, he was not actually the material sun. He was the first cause manifested by the sun from which all things came and from which ever issued forth the life-giving and life-sustaining influence symbolized by rays ending in hands that support and nourish human beings. No grand theology has ever appeared in the world before such as this. It is the forerunner of the later monotheistic religions. While it is even more abstract and impersonal and may well mark as scientific theism, which in our modern world would be equivalent to the ideas of the 20th century mystic Rudolf Steiner. Akhenaten died while still a young man and the causes of his death are unknown. But there is speculation that the new pharaoh was in fact Queen Nefertiti who ruled as a man and attempted to hold together the collapsing dreams of her husband Though not many women have acted as rulers in ancient Egyptian society, they have been considered to be equal among men in status as well as legal opportunities. Women were shown to be allowed the opportunity to take part in the economy, such as their role as merchants. Women took part also in religious activities. They were allowed to become priestesses. It has now taken women 3,000 years to reclaim their equal social rights. And only now is the world reawakening, heralding, a return to higher frequencies of love, compassion, and kindness, and to the eternal feminine divine.